Faith Floss 2. I'm Whitney, and this is my channel, Whitney Stitches. It has been a good solid month since I've seen y'all. We have been just crazy busy. Softball season started up, school started, and everything else in between. I think I've maybe had a handful of days off subbing wise. This is the first, I'll be off today as of now. They can always call me in later. And Thursday I took off because my daughter's going on her first field trip for Gifted and Talented. So we're starting all, all the things. Um, our school, as for like health wise, COVID, all that crap, our school is doing it differently. It's their uh, quarantining if you close contact and uh, regardless of vaccination status that way there's no discrimination and then uh, no masks as of now and that's mostly because our governor put that in place and then as for the classrooms like my son's classroom a certain percentage of his students his fellow classmates were out either because of positive or quarantine because of close contact with positive. So they shut down the room for the week and went virtual for a week. He wasn't in quarantine, but he was just virtual for a week. And so that was last week. He went back yesterday and whew, he was happy to be back. So that's how our school's handling it. So far it's working because the two classrooms they've had to shut down for a week to go virtual. They've come back and they've rocked and rolled it and it's keeping our numbers down which we're all happy with and we're just going from there we're just being going with the flow being what's dealt with and that's about it let's see we've got softball going we've had it going since mid-august and tonight hopefully if we can get the field dry we've got a group of parents out at the mostly dads and grandparents that are out at the field right now blowing water off working the field trying to get it dry because not only do I have we have the junior highs last game of the season tonight we also have our high school girls last district game tonight and if they win if our high school girls win then we are district champions from if I got that right I think that's right so we have a whole bunch of people that are ready for some for some softball tonight. Um, we played last night against a really good team. The first time we played this team, uh, we lost like six to zero. The last, the next time we played them, we won three to two, and last night we lost one to nothing. So for us to beat them one round and only lose by one, we kept them from scoring but one inning then we were we're pretty pumped and we're looking forward to tonight it's a good game it's a good team I am just excited we 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 have in our area because we're so rural we have to travel out to play a bunch of teams so and because we're rural there's not as many well, no, no, let's say that. There's not a many, as many experienced teams. We have a lot of travel players in our area. So that's why our teams are a little bit better than some. And this year, our schedule was full of the other teams. And so we didn't have very many challenging games. So for us to play these last two games with two challenging teams, our girls are pumped. They're ready. Um, let's see here. School's going great. We're enjoying it. I'm working tons. My husband's been working tons. Along with everything else in the world, there's a paramedic shortage. So my husband's having to pull OT left and right. Um, we're gearing up for hunting season. My daughter, uh, it's her eighth grade year. So this is the year they start learning about FCCLA and FFA and so they can decide where they want to go into club what clubs they want to go into next year and 
she's doing both FCCLA and FFA. And we did our blue and gold sausage fundraiser. She raised almost $1,200, so not too shabby. And then, um, let's see here, we've got that going on. Hunting season's around the corner. My daughter's gonna pick up skeet shooting, the oldest. She's excited to start that. We've started, we finished PT, so her shoulders, not 100%, but it's getting there. Like, she still has her at-home exercises she has to do. She has to really work on posture and keeping those muscles worked. She's still at risk of it getting loose again, getting weak again. So, we're trying. Um, I'm trying to think of what else. Middle child, rocking and rolling in fourth grade. Second grader, he's doing great. And Rocky got his first haircut, but he's around here somewhere sleeping, so I'm not gonna disturb him. All right, let's get into the fun stuff. Let's get into the cross stitch, what we're all here for. All right, let's do some previous finishes. This I did last year. This is Pumpkin Patch. I wanna say it's hands-on design. No, this is Andy B's Folk Art. This is Pumpkin Patch by Andy B's Folk Art. If you can see right here how my X is really loose and then I got tighter and tighter. This is when I first started trying to stitch by the housewives. I watched their videos and you can tell as I was figuring it out and then I got better. I could have ripped it out and started it over, but I like seeing the progress. I like seeing how I was learning. I got it. I got it and we're good. So I'll take it. But this is on a pumpkin that I got from Kirkland's on clearance. I want to say it was like $6 that I got on clearance. So this is just permanently attached to it because I'll never put anything else on it that I know of. And I just used some um, orange and black and black plaid from I think Walmart or Hobby Lobby to put on the back of it. So there's that. Then I have my other previous finish of the September calendar crate. And this is just some brown neutrals plaid that I got from Hobby Lobby. It's the same frame that they advertise with their charts. And I stitch it as all one piece simply because I don't have to fight making a bow for the middle. I'm not that crafty. So, however, you will see some new bows. I tried. But that's that one. This one is one of my favorites. So this is the Just Cross Stitch magazines. Uh, it's the collaboration with Hands On Design and Priscilla Blaine's the Seasons in, Seasons in Chalk Art. And this is fall. I have the fall and the Christmas done. I have winter as a whip and I'm gonna pull it out and get it going pretty soon. But this frame is one that I got from Joann's. I just ordered the frame. I painted the mat board black, chalkboard, chalkboard paint black. And then I had my friend who does all my uh, door hangers and stuff like that, my signs. I gave it to her and I said, hey, would you draw something on this for me? I said. It won't be hidden all the time, I said, but for the most part, I just want some decoration behind it. And so she did. So I do the washer and magnets and I just switch it out. So I just got a little bit of flourish behind it to where you can see, and it looks great. I love anything that I can include. My friends to add just that much extra to it. So now I have my FFOs that I've done recently. That's all my previous finishes. So, I finished Calvin and Clyde probably back, I want to say June or July, maybe even sooner, maybe even later. But at some point, I finished Calvin and Clyde. And so, I finally, when I was pulling out my fall decor, I pulled out the truck. And, because I bought it last year, I just didn't finish this in time. And added this to it. And I want to say, yeah, attach this down permanently. I need to get some ribbon and do a bow, but I haven't done that yet. But I have it, 
it came out great and all these are on 28 count monaco either coffee tea dyed charcoal dyed or uh denim blue dyed and or if it's black monaco's some that i bought so my other previous finish this one's a good one this is boo i love you this was my cross stitch camp finish for july i never did finish the other one but i did do this one and i want to say this is on 32 count No, this is on 28 count country, Mo vintage country mocha, I think, or, I don't know, I have it written down. I'll, if I find it, I'll put it on my uh, Instagram. But I finished it with Chelsea's Checks and Priscilla's Pretty Plaids. This is just a sign from Hobby Lobby. It's one of those table decors that I've shown in previous uh, videos that I got. And then I just permanently glued it down. And then on top, I just did a couple of sprigs of black flowers from the Halloween section, a bow, a little bit of a rickrack, purple rickrack bow, and then I took a candy corn off a pick from Michael's and glued it on there. So I have this for Halloween. So, and then my other fully finish is Boo, I, Boo to You by Stitching with the Housewives. This one Yep, it's permanently glued down. I can't remember which one, what I do. Um, this is a frame from Hobby Lobby. It had some kind of eucalyptus picture on the back of it. And I just painted it chalk with chalkboard paint black. And put down Chelsea's Checks, Priscilla's Pretty Plaids in the orange. Sorry, Chelsea's Checks, Priscilla's Pretty Plaids in the orange and black. Then put this down. I have some more of those black twigs, uh, floral twigs, plus some of the ones with the orange and yellow, orange, black, and there's a yellow one right over here. Uh, little beads tucked in there with a gingham bow and a candy corn in the middle. This one's super cute. I'm really proud of this one. I'm really proud of my bow. I finally might have discovered my little girly spring. I don't know. I doubt it. It's probably a random one-time fluke. All right, and my last FFO, well, partially FFO, is the Scarecrow Break Bakery. Now, I have this one on magnets because I plan on doing the Queen Bee Bakery and switching those two out. I did the other one on magnets too, but I don't plan on switching it out. So whenever I get stuff for the top, I'm just gonna lay it on there i'm not going to worry about gluing it down and that way i can if i want to switch it up each year i can so this is done on 28 count black monaco with the priscilla's pretty plaids and some of the dot trim by i think lady dot creates i think that's where it's from and underneath there you can't see it because i didn't make my board big enough but there's chelsea's checks behind it it's just hidden behind the trim so this one came out pretty easy. I've been doing this entire time I've done monogamous, monogamous stitching still. I don't know what's wrong with me. I can't find my stitching bug for anything. Um, I have some other, oh, my last FFO. This is the Bats and Boos Mystery Quilt. I finished it, quilted it, and did the binding on it. The binding is not perfect at all. I still have a lot to learn on that. But I'm learning. That's all that matters. But the quilting came out great. I'll show it in the purple. You can see it really in the purple. But you can see it has a pumpkin in the quilt design. I used the designs by Juju into in quilting. I used her end-to-end uh, -end quilting design with the pumpkins, so I think it's pumpkins number one. And I just did it in my multi-needle machine, threw it in there, three minutes per frame, and quilted it in an afternoon. So this is the largest quilt I've done in there, the 33 by 33. I'm 
slowly learning how to do it. And I have another quilt that I'm wanting to do and finish up. So that's in the plans. I don't know if I'll be able to do such a larger quilt or not with my multi needle. It said that you can. People have said you can, but I don't know. We'll see. All right, my other uh, finished objects, these aren't fully finished, mostly because I have, I ran out of sticky board. So my sticky board came in yesterday. And we worked and did ball games till eight o'clock last night. And I was exhausted afterwards, so yeah, didn't happen. Anyways, we have the September calendar crate. I did both of them on black Monaco with the call for colors. This is the small, I already have a sticky board on it, I just didn't have enough to finish the rest of it. So that's the small. I already have my fabric cut to go with it. And I have this sitting on the sticky board. I just haven't didn't have enough to finish the rest of it. So, and this is the large of the September calendar crate. All the call for colors. It came out great. I absolutely love the pumpkins. I have the October one. And I'm at the point where I'm ready to get on to Christmas stitching. So I have two projects that I want to do. So I highly doubt I'm going to do the October one this year. I'll probably save it for next year because this is one, especially since I haven't had it up yet, that I can leave up through September and October. So I'm going to finish this out probably today, switch them out, and then uh, leave it up for October also. And I'll worry about getting the September one, I mean the October one done in a future year. I'm not going to say it will be next year because knowing the housewives, I'll have another monthly series that I'll just have to stitch. Oops, sorry. And I'll be too worried about that. So another finished object is the This is Halloween Backing Up the Truck series by the housewives. I have it finished. I just need to FFO it, which, like I said, just got all my sticky board in so this is on 28 count black monaco of course all the call for colors I didn't make any changes <clears throat> I like it how it is sorry my throat scratchy So, um, it came out perfect. I love their patterns. They're so easy to stitch. And I'm, I'm not weird person that I like, I make myself minor goals. Like on this one, I'll show you on this one. So my other finish, so I finished this last night at the ball game is the Hello My Pretties from the All Jarred Up series with the Housewives. So, I make myself silly goals. Like when I started it, I started with the blue and I did all the blue. Then I moved on to the white and I did as far as I could go with the white as, as I could comfortably. Then we moved on to I moved on to the baking tin and I just pick one color at a time. I go as far as I can with that color and then I stop and move on to the next color. And if I can, I try to knock out a color. If I can't, then I try to knock it out the next time. So by doing that, by doing little ra random things that makes it a little bit more of a challenge, it just makes it fun for me. It's the way my mind works. So, I don't know. I'm weird. I own it. But that is all my FFOs and finishes. Let's see here. Let's go into my whips. So, I did get bit by the whip bug one day. And I started one project. 
I started the Haunted Mansion by the Tidy Moder Modernist. I started this and I started at the moon. I centered it up and started at the top. That way I could make sure I got it all in there and I didn't lose because I got a larger than needed piece of fabric and I didn't want to have a lot of waste in it. So this is on 28 count picture this plus haunted and that's my small start. So not very much start to start though. Can't finish the project unless you start it. You can't start a project unless you get it. So that's pro progress is being made. It's all that matters. I'll help myself. And then let's see here. We got that. That was my one and only whip that I have not touched since. Because I got back to my monogamous stitching. And then. Oops, just knocked off something off my desk. If you, if you could see my desk, it's a hot mess. Between quilting, I have two quilt projects going. I have all the cross stitch pieces out here on the desk. It's just a, it's a table full. Um, I started this during one of the ball games back in August. Then I put it away to monogamous stitch all the backing up the truck. September calendar crate and all jarred up and scarecrow bakery. I put that, all that away to monogamous stitch those. And so now I'm bringing these back out. This is, it's fall y'all by stitching with the housewives, the dapper doodad. Um, I'm going to knock, I have three of them picked out because I have a certain sign that I got from Coles that has three pumpkins on it. And I'm going to put with a little clip on it and I'm gonna put each one on one of those pumpkins. So I'm gonna knock a bunch of smalls out probably in the next two weeks. But this is my start on it. I pulled it back out last night and got some more work done on it and then I will probably do it and the a few tear trade tear trade tidbits that are fall for right now. And so I can add to my tear tray. So right now still I'll Still have some sunflower stuff out. Uh, let's see here. My, that's the only whips, two whips I have. I'm not going to touch that Halloween one. The Haunted Mansion one. Uh, so, I'm not going to touch it again until next year, probably. So, once I finish these others, Dapper Doodads and Tear Tray Tidbits, I'm going to move on to the Buffalo Plaid Fall from the Punch Needle Primitive Magazine. I don't have, I have it kitted, but I don't have a picture of it. You'll just have to look the magazine up or Google uh, Priscilla's 2000 Buffalo Plaid Fall or watch one of their videos so you can see it. But I have it kitted up, ready to go. It's just that I only print the chart. That's all I need. I don't need a cover page when it's just me. So that's that plans. Then as soon as I do those few, that's my last of my fall stitching. I'm moving right on into Christmas stitching. I have Into All a Good Night by the Housewives Kitted Up. I'm going to finish that. I'm going to, I'm not going to say I'm going to finish this. I'm going to say I'm going to put progress on this because I would love to finish it, but I know me, I probably won't. But this is the Holly Jolly Farm by Hands Off Design in collaboration with Priscilla Blaine. I really want to get some on them, done on this. I have the sign for it that I'm going to use and everything. I just, it's a big project. Me and big projects don't get along too well. I don't know. I say that. But as many monogamous stitching as I've done lately, I probably could get it done. I have my Lizzie Kate Christmas rules that I want to work on. And of course, all the cute things by the housewives. Um, Cause they have the Mrs. Claus's bakery. 
I'm waiting to get that when it goes in their Etsy shop simply because it's not something I can work on right this second. So I'll just wait till October 1st to buy it and get it started. Out of that, I'll have a December calendar crate to do. They'll have a December backing up the truck, of course, I'm gonna have to do. And they talked about a new series. Look, I think, I think it's gonna be seasonal. But of course, I'll probably end up doing it because I just love everything that the housewives do. I really, I really need them to slow down just a smidge. Like cut it back to like, instead of three or four new projects a month to, I don't know, two, one, I don't know. I don't know, they can keep doing what they're doing because they're rocking it, but I cannot keep up because I want to do all the things and then some. But I also have to remember they have two people working on projects instead of just one. So that does help me not feel as bad because I really, I love all their things. I want to stitch all of their things. All right, let's see here. We had a, had a, had a giveaway last week. It was the Hello My Pretties in the All Jarred Up series. So we're gonna give this away. I did the random comment picker and Diana Stearns, you are the winner. So yay. Diana contacted me via Instagram. Um, my, uh, my Instagram thing is Whitney Stitches or you can contact me on, via email, WhitneyStitches at gmail.com. So contact me, let me know. Uh, Stitching Granny in 17, I still have your November quotes of the month to send out to you. So, get with me, and that way I can get those out to you. I'm, while I am busy with life, I drive by the post office twice a day, every day, to take my kids to school, and when I come home from work, if I'm working, or however it works out. So, um, it's not anything for me to run by and take care of things so with that being said I have another giveaway I let me give the shout out to them though on Abellas, I order most my charts most of my paper charts from them because anything you order from them has an automatic 10% discount and I love to save money and I also order because she'll do the Whenever, as soon as she gets a new chart from the housewives, as soon as they advertise it and send it out, the pre-advertisement information to the shop, she immediately puts out the option for a floss pack to go with it. And I always, always get the floss packs for them. However, now that I've cleaned out my, when I had my steroid shot and cleaned my floss up and organized and everything, I realize that there's a lot I don't need. So, I may hold go slower on my floss packs and just order the colors I need but anyways Annabella's on Etsy I always support them so I ordered the floss pack and chart for hello my pretties I ordered the floss pack no I ordered the chart and floss pack for Scarecrow Breakery and then I ordered the chart no just the floss pack for the October calendar crates. Was that? No, I lied. Floss pack and chart for Hello My Pretties. Floss pack and chart for the Halloween backing up at the truck. This is Halloween. And then um, the floss pack only for the October calendar crates. So I ordered that. It all came in. Everything was perfect. And they had sent me a chart. Well, I am in the Southern Stitchers Co. chart club, so I didn't need the chart. So I messaged them back. I'm like, hey, y'all accidentally sent me this chart. I'm more than happy to send it back to you so you're not out the profit ability. Because I totally get it. Small business stuff, totally get it. And she's like, you know, go ahead and keep it and gift it to somebody or whatever you need to do with it. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna, if that's okay with you, I'm gonna use it on my giveaway for my floss tube. And she said, that's great. 
and here I am. So, this week's giveaway is the October calendar crate. And I promise to be back in two weeks because while softball season's ending today, hopefully today, if we get to play, because the rain kind of may mess that up, then I will be back in two weeks because we start in basketball practice and moving into that sport and we don't start games for that till November, hopefully, fingers crossed. Anyways, I'll be back in two weeks. So we have the October calendar crate and I want you to use the word purple in your comment because purple is my favorite color. So my question, hmm, I had one the other day, I can't remember. Hmm, I'm gonna think about it for a minute. So we have more games, tonight's the last game, our since Bradley's in eighth grade, her and her fellow eighth grade uh, softball players, the moms got together Sunday night. I started a group text, but hey, what would y'all think about doing a little gift for them, goodie bag, something for the girls to honor their junior high, last junior high game. So that was Sunday night in the middle of like late at night. By yesterday afternoon, we had bags bought, shirts bought. I came home and printed and pressed, uh, not printed, but cut and pressed a bunch of shirts for them and all of that. And now that I've realized this, I'm gonna have to wait to post the video till tomorrow to where they won't see this part. <sighs> Me and my mouth. Anyways, they have all that. Um, so they're getting little goodie bags tonight, hopefully before their game. And let's see here, my question. Do you decorate for Halloween? That's the question. I typically decorate for fall and a little bit for Halloween. Like I'll put out a few things. I'm not a big Halloween decorator. However, now that I found cross stitch and it's not, like I'm not anti-Halloween, I'm not anti-spooky or anything like that. It's just, I don't like orange that much. I don't like a Halloween orange that much. So I rather stick with the fall orange, like you're more of your burnt orange and reds and yellows of fall in my decor. But anyways, do you decorate for Halloween? That's what I like to know. Because we're, we're struggling this year to get all the decorations out. I'm struggling on costumes too. Wesley was easy. He's got the Hulk costume. We found it at Sam's Club. As soon as he saw it, he's like, I want to be Hulk. I can be Hulk smash. Hulk smash! I'm like, okay. So we bought that. And now my 10 year old, she's like, I don't even know what I want. I don't know what I want to do. So we're struggling for her. If you have any ideas, we'd love it. Um, let's see here. That's all we got going on. I should be back in about two weeks. Got the giveaway. Diana, please contact me so you, you can win. If y'all want to follow me on Instagram, Whitney Stitches. You can follow my sister on Instagram, Paris Knits 1978. Uh, she's doing great. She's rocking and rolling with school, staying busy with it. They are, they return to school like normal and are mandating masks for school. So, not a big deal. They're just happy to be in school full time, which we are too. Um, I hope everyone stays happy, stays healthy. That's the key thing. Um, and we shall see you soon. We have ball and hunting coming up, so hopefully I should have some more stitchy time now that some things are slowing down. Other than that, I think that's it. I can't think of anything else I was wanting to say. So, I guess I will see y'all later. So, bye.